Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for October. This could happen at any time in October if the reading is for you. This reading may not be for you, okay? So keep that in mind. What do we have for Scorpio? Well, there we go. We got one casket. Oh boy, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. It jumped right out of the deck. I don't know if you saw what happened or not. Um, anyhow, this is the someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So we do have a situation that is coming to an end. Oh, we got two more. Advice from a friend. It says dog barking. So you're going to be receiving advice from a friend. Can you listen to that advice? Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Now, you are a fixed sign. It's interesting that I said, can you listen to that advice? Or are you unwilling to change? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that, aren't you? I feel you. I got you. All right, what do we got? What do we got for Scorpio? If somebody has some advice for you, are you going to be able to listen to it? Open-mindedly. Or are you going to be stubborn and unwilling to change? And I know this is not what you want to hear. Oh, ho, 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 ho. definitely about you. It's you. It's you. It's not the other person that's not unwilling to change. It's you. Don't yell at me. Boxing gloves. Now that could mean it's time to put up your boxing gloves or you may need to get them out. This is competition. Be prepared. I think that you're going to be put in a position where, you know, sink or swim. It's sink or swim because that's what I heard. Is it time to swim? Or do you want to be weighed down because of stubbornness and unwillingness to change? Mm. Independently owned and operated. This may have to do with a job. It could have to do with a job. Maybe it's time for you to become independently owned and operated. It could have to do with a relationship. Maybe it's time to become independently owned and operated. Let's get one of these for an overall energy. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. It stings. It stings. Mm. It's reverse, but we're not I'm not doing these in reversals. Real fortune reverse that is a, that is a setback. Okay? It's a bad luck. It's it's uh, stuck. It's stuck. Somebody is stuck. They're stuck in the past. You know, they're clinging to control. We have a cycle that's trying to end. You're, you need to let it end. Get your foot out of the wheel. 
This is life changing, life changing, destined change, of course. But it's like, nope, I got my foot in the wheel. I'm not, I'm not changing a thing. This is an unfortunate loss. It's, it is. Ooh, you are meant, if you put it up right, to go in a different direction. So the wheel is going to be spinning you in a new direction. But you've been resisting it because the Wheel of Fortune came out reverse. So you've been resisting this change, which is very clear. But I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen now. There's probably going to be a fight or an argument. It could be somebody you live with or somebody that you work with. I don't know if you, have a, if you work with this person, if it's a business situation or what. I do believe there's going to probably be... Uh, well, something's coming to an end with that casket. What do we have for Scorpio? It's meant to happen because the Wheel of Fortune is destiny. It's meant to happen. This is the Wheel of Life spinning you in a new direction. It's a positive new direction, but you got to get your foot out of the wheel. It's, it's you know, the Wheel of Fortune reverse is, is a negative repetitive patterns, right? It is. Oh, separation, separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. This could be a work partner, could be a business colleague, could be somebody that you live with as well. So there is going to be a separation or you're in separation. If you are, it's destined, it's meant to be. But someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. But this cycle is coming to an end. Death of a situation. Change in living situation or business is the unstable business or home life. Okay, this is this is the death of a situ a person or idea, kind of like that casket card. I need to go within, take time out to heal. You're going to need to take a time out. Healing is going to be needed. This is a this could be a family feud or a business situation that is falling apart. This is this is a false uh, foundation, right? False pretenses. Somebody living beyond their means, pretending they're happy. It's short-lived success. Fighting over money, false impressions, massive debts, overspending, um, gambling, spending too much money, not having any money, um, bad business, marrying for all the wrong reasons, getting into a commitment for all the wrong reasons. Be a change in a living situation could also be dealing with a Capricorn. I don't know why I want there was a reason why I wanted to say Capricorn. What the hell was it? There was something that came out that came up a minute ago, and it was about Cap oh, the boxing gloves. Capricorn got the boxing gloves as well. So, some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn, it doesn't have to be though. Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. Okay. Anyhow, what do we have for Scorpio? Strength could also be dealing for, with a Leo. You're going to need to have courage. You're going to need to restrain yourself. You're going to be needing to control your emotions, master your emotions. You're going to be going through a big change because the Wheel of Fortune is a change. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. That's in there. That's on their side, whoever you, somebody you're dealing with. Now let's talk about you. Mm, two of Swords reverse, Ace of Swords reverse, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles about relocation, investment. Is it worth investing in this? It's time to plant your seed someplace else. I feel like something that was happened a long time ago is coming back around to be dealt with now. That's why the Wheel of Fortune was reversed. It's like the past coming back to haunt you or somebody that you're dealing with. The past is coming back to haunt somebody. 
There's dishonesty. There's lies or crime being exposed. Two of swords reversed. Ace of swords reversed. Two of swords reversed is coming out of denial. It's on your side. Uh, seeing the truth or some, some sort of uh, crime being exposed. Lies being exposed. Feelings being exposed. There's going to be some sort of exposure. Something is going to be exposed. Eight of swords reversed. There's been dishonesty. There's been a lack of truth. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. It may have to do with money. It has to. It does have to do with money, or it has to do with. Uh, they've been torn in two different directions with the two of swords. Now a decision is being made. There's been some sort of indecisiveness. Um, I think that you've been wearing a blindfold. You know, you have been choosing not to see something clearly. Definitely a lack of clarity here. But choosing not to see, you can rip that blindfold off at any time. But choosing not to. Blocking the truth. I feel like you've been in denial over a situation. Blocking the truth. I mean, I can't make it up. These two come out on your side together. That is blocking the truth. I choose not to see the truth. I'm not going to accept the truth. I'm going to ignore the truth. This is not true. It is true. You're in denial over a situation. You know the truth, but you don't want to believe the truth. Okay? Somebody is investing someplace else. Okay? I think your intuition knows it, but you don't want to believe it. I feel like during this time, you're going to need to be brave. You're going to need to be courageous. You're going to need to master your emotions. You're going to need to do something courageously. You're obviously going to have to make some sort of choice or it's going to be made for you. Okay, with that two of swords reversed. The truth is definitely going to be revealed. Somebody has been lying about something. Could be also dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with somebody that is going to be taking control. There's a message that is coming. This person's going to be saying something. Definitely a message that is coming. There are messages that are coming. Okay, there's messages that are coming. We have the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Whoever you're dealing with, there is somebody, this could be somebody that is immature. They're young, you know, they can't stop themselves from saying what they got to say. They got this passionate desire to tell. You know, so they're telling. This could be a tattletale or somebody that has something to say, okay? They got something to say. They want control. This could be somebody that uh, has been blocked. Maybe they've been blocked for some reason. They're angry. They're upset. They're saying something. Um, a message is coming. A message is definitely coming. Um, I also feel like you are dealing with somebody that... Whoever you're dealing with is a very hard worker. They have an opportunity. They are going to be taking an opportunity. This is either passionate love or hate. This is somebody that is going to, you're dealing with somebody that's going to be taking an opportunity. This I feel like you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could also be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So it's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or Leo mostly, but you also have Aries, Sagittarius. Um, going down a new path. Somebody is taking an offer. I feel like they're, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that has a new suitor. This person has a new suitor that has burst into their world. They may be having sex with this person. It could be... Uh, Somebody may be having sex with somebody. There could be a side. Somebody could be having sex on the side. Um, five of Wands reverse competition. This is a competition. It absolutely is. Then we have the Two of Cups reverse underneath it, which is a separation. Letting go. This is a tense situation. This is messages that you probably don't want to hear somebody probably you're dealing with somebody that is playing with and somebody else they have a new prospect they have attraction to this person this has probably happened very very suddenly could have been an instant attraction um taking an opportunity putting in effort someplace else somebody is this is on their side whoever you're dealing with whoever you're dealing with the other person is uh, securing something else. They're securing something. They're putting in effort into something else. 
I feel like this person has strong desires for something more, you know, they, I don't know, something sexual. They have a new attraction, a new, a new suitor. Okay. I think that you're dealing with somebody that has a new suitor, you know, um, and they're taking it, they're taking it, they're exploring it, they're going down that path, they're going in that direction, they're, they've been taking it slow, they've been developing, building a foundation with somebody else. So you're dealing with somebody that is building a foundation with somebody else. Could also be dealing with the Pisces because I wanted to say that at the beginning. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, another water sign. Um, Cause I had, the, I had the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups. It was the King of Cups. Anyhow, so I feel like uh, there's emotions. It's emotions. It's emotional. I think that you're dealing with somebody who has some sort of desire for something more, and they're building a foundation with somebody else, whether it's a, whether it's a job foundation or it's a relationship foundation. Whoever you're dealing with, um, there is a separation here. You're going to be separating from somebody. You are. Whoever you're dealing with knows their value. They're, they're focused on their value. They're focused on their money. They're focused on their stability. They're focused on their job. They are engaging with a new prospect. You're dealing with somebody that has a new prospect. They're going through a new doorway. And I feel like you're in denial of the whole situation. You are. It's like you're clinging to control, not wanting to accept it, not wanting to see it. And I feel, I really feel like you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, mostly. You need to let go. You need to stop playing with this player. You are definitely dealing with a player. Whoever you are dealing with is more interested in financial security and whoever they're dealing with is financially a secure. So you need to accept that. And it's like, I don't want to accept it. I don't want to accept it. But the two of swords reversed. Now this is about giving up, giving up the battle, giving up the fight, stop fighting, stop playing, stop playing with this person. It's time to get focused. And I feel like you, 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 you've reached a point where you are probably exhausted and fed up. There could be a fight. There is going to be a fight with the, with the boxing gloves and this five of wands. This, is, this could be extremes. There's going to be a fight. And it could definitely be a fight over money or about where somebody else is investing. I do believe that you uh, have gotten all you can get out of a situation. And it's time for you to move on. There could definitely be a relocation here. Because whoever you're dealing with is investing someplace else. And I feel like you need to master your raw emotions and uh, go in a new direction because they're going in a new direction or they've already gone in a new direction. You are going to be going in a new direction. You are. You are also going to be receiving an offer or you have a golden opportunity to start over with someone new. There is somebody that could be bursting into your world that is younger than you. I feel like this is person is younger than you. Um, this is somebody that is probably very well suited for you that can help you. This person can help you. They will, and it is somebody that you should invest in, but you need to, uh, stop playing with whoever this player is. There is a, definitely a player here. You're going to be securing something that you can hold on to, that you can hold on to, that you can, it is, it's something huge, it's something big, but you have to be willing to open your eyes and accept the truth about whoever it is that you're dealing with. Maybe you're holding on just for the money, you're holding on for the financial stability of this partnership, whatever it is. I feel like you are going to receive everything you need. You do not need to invest in something where there's no more growth. Stop investing in a dead end. And it is a dead end. This is a dead end. I feel like whoever you're dealing with has another person. Whether it's somebody that you live with or they have another opportunity. Whether it's a job opportunity or it's a, a, a new sexual partner. You know, with a page of wands. Whoever this person is. There is somebody here that has a new partner. 
and they've been giving to this person. They've been slowly building a foundation with this person. And I feel like you've been incomplete or they've already built a foundation with this person. It's stable. It's solid. It's secure. You know, and there's denial to a swords reverse. There's denial of the whole situation. And it's because of the investment that has already been made. Some, and there's lack of clarity. It's like, I'm not going to acknowledge the truth. I'm not going to acknowledge. And maybe it's because of delusion. There is going to be a separation here with casket and the separation card. Absolutely. I feel like there's going to be a, a fight that probably, if you, if it had, there hasn't been a departure already, there's going to be a departure. I feel like, I feel like this cycle needs to end. It needs to end and it needs to end right now. There's also a couple of children here that are going in a new direction. Okay. So I, I wonder if there's a separation with children. Truth, very first card out. Truth being revealed. Lies being exposed. I feel like you have somebody here that is uh, really giving their attention and they're investing in somebody else. They are. And I feel like you know it, but you've been in denial because, I don't know, maybe it's because of delusion. Not wanting to let go and it's been causing you a lot of pain. Hermit, next to that page of wands, it's on their side. So this person's been thinking a lot. They're going through some soul searching. They're re-identifying themselves. You're dealing with somebody who is becoming aware of what they want. And I feel like they want to go in a different direction. Page of Pentacles, that's expansion. That's going in a different direction. That's, that's taking a new path, putting in effort. Whoever you're dealing with is, is reflecting, okay? They're reflecting. They're reflecting on their life. They've been hiding something as well. I feel like they've been, and he's right next to the page of wands, they've been hiding a new suitor that they may have some sort of attraction to. Um, let's get one over on your side. Death. Oh my goodness, this is the end of things. Okay, it is. It's a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. I can't make it up, okay? You're, you need, oh my goodness gracious, lack of acceptance. I don't want to hear it, you know what I mean? I don't, this is lack of truth. I do believe that, you know, there's, it's time to move on from this bad choice. I feel like you've been having a hard time accepting, this is lack of acceptance, you know, a hard time accepting the truth. And this is your card. We have the death card. Something is over. It is completely, completely, completely over. I feel like you have been hoping for a reconciliation or for another chance with somebody that isn't telling you the truth. They haven't been telling you the truth. Um, this is guilty as well. There's guilt here. You know, uh, you're dealing with somebody who is definitely not telling you the truth. You're in complete denial of the whole situation because you've been wanting to not believe it. Definitely going to be some truth that is exposed. It's not what you want to hear. Poor judgment call. A need for a need to move on from that poor choice. Not seeing the truth, not willing to accept, not willing to release, not being honest. You're not being honest with yourself. You're, and you're dealing with somebody that is untruthful. There's no chance in reconciliation. There isn't. You need to be, you, there's no chance that this is, that this, this is bad karma. This is bad karma. And it's like, you know what? If you, if you're unwilling to, to see the truth and accept the truth, then you're going to have setback after setback after setback. That's the wheel of fortune reversed. It's time for you to go in a new direction, whoever this is for. It's time to move on from that bad choice and accept the truth. You know what the truth is. I know that you do. 
but you're extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. You have a golden opportunity here with somebody else, whether this is a new job or with somebody that is a hard worker, that is loyal, that is stable, that is solid, that is secure. But you're also dealing with somebody that needs constant attention and they've been hiding somebody else. So, oh, freaking no, this is ridiculous. <clears throat> it's almost like you're waiting in vain you're waiting in vain you need to be practical <clears throat> some of you are going to be given an opportunity to start your own business or you're going to get some sort of new vision or new idea Okay, maybe you take a time out to reflect. You're focusing on yourself you're, and you're going to become independently owned and operated. You're going to be, some of you have a gift you, or you have some sort of creative ability that you can uh, uh, build a business on. So you do have business uh, potential to start your own business. It's, it's some sort of craft. It's like you have a craft that you can sell. But you need to have confidence, you need to have faith, um, and you need to just do it. You need to do it. You need to do it. You need to find your courage and your confidence and your strength to just do it. By yourself, though, this is not with a partner. Independently owned and operated, you are would be more successful by yourself, not with this partner. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that uh, is not compatible, that you're not compatible with. You have a skill. You have a skill that you can build, okay? You can build some sort of prosperity with, but it's going to require hard work and creativity and follow through. But it's by yourself. It's not with another person. There's a person here that is setting you backwards. They're bringing you backwards. This is not somebody that you can trust. That's who you need to separate from. I think it's somebody that you work with now or you live with now or something like that. Get ready for a fight. There is going to be a fight because the universe is here. Okay, the universe is here. The universe, the Wheel of Fortune, the Death card, okay. They're trying to spin you in a new direction. But if you refuse to take any action and you continue to go backwards and keep your foot in the wheel and not do anything about it, then, you know, at some point the universe has to step in and, and help you along the way. Um, something is going out of your life or the end of a situation, death, death card, separation or loss that leads to a new beginning, separation card, time apart from your partner is on the horizon, the wheel is spinning you in a new direction, this is actually positive change, okay? Um, you are going to be tested, your value is going to be tested, you're going to hear some news, um from a younger person. A younger person is going to really give, it's going to cause an awakening. This younger person is going to come out of hiding and they're going to say something that changes everything. Good luck. <laughs>